Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing a review on Kiss Him Not Me, which is a series by a famous mangaka called Junko, who is known for her boys love manga. Um, the series is a slice of life shoujo, which is also a reverse harem, which basically is a group of guys going for one girl, who is our main character called Kaye. Kaye is a cheerful, chubby otaku who is a major fujoshi. For those who don't know what that is, she's going to explain it herself. One day, Kaye's favorite anime character dies, and you know she goes into a state of depression where she doesn't eat or leave her room for one week, and she has to be forced out by her brother and her mom. And the moment she gets out of her room, everyone realizes that she's transformed into this gorgeous, beautiful goddess. Like she's she's so pretty, and due to that transformation. All the boys are attracted to her and they want to date her, which leads us to four boy characters who have a crush on her and they want to be the only men in her life. You see that Kaye, you know, as the episodes go, she is flattered by the attention, but she's also frustrated by the attention as she's in conflict with her true otaku self. Uh, we see that in episode one, you know, she ends up telling the boys that she's an otaku because she just can't hide who she truly is. So basically, I think that is the storyline. The boys are all fighting to be, you know, the only guy in her life. And yeah, it is really great comedy. Like, I, I really love the hilarious moments and it's great fun. Um, on the other hand, I am not the target audience for this type of anime slash manga, as I am not a boy love shipper. I'm not into the mangas either, but it is hilarious. The comedy is the only thing that's keeping me, you know, uh, watching every single time because it is that good. Um, especially the illustrations, they really add to the humor and to the story. Honestly, watch it. The comedy is funny. But on the other hand, there are some flaws. The storyline for me personally is not that great. Um, I, I enjoy really great storylines. I enjoy great animes with a fantastic storyline, which has me captured wanting more every single week. Um, but this one doesn't really have that much of a great storyline. And I also don't like the fact that, you know, our main character Kaye was treated like dirt before she turned into this hottie. You know, um, it's just like the chubby chick, she only had to starve herself, you know, and then everybody starts taking notice and being interested in her. I find that to be slightly shallow. Again, it's like big girls, can they never find themselves in harem situations? Only thin girls get all the love and the attention. But I personally feel that, you know, this gives the anime and the manga a great advantage because it, you know, it gives it a lot of potential and I wonder if the mangaka would take the body image theme and make Kaye reverse back to her chubby self, would the boys still want her? Like, I think that would make it more interesting personally for me. Um, but I do think that one one guy, I definitely ship Kaye with Mitsumi Senpai. He noticed her when she was chubby and, you know, he's still warm towards her. Like, nothing has changed. She's still the same person. So, you know, I, I'm really rooting for Mitsumi Senpai. And plus, they've got really great chemistry. So, Mitsumi Senpai, ganbate. Um, <laughs> I do also enjoy the series. Honestly, our main character, she's awesome. She's funny. She doesn't hide who she is. She's confident and she's comfortable in her own skin. And I guess that truly is the message, really, you know, be yourself, always be yourself. You will find the right guy for you eventually. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys liked this review. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, like it and subscribe. And I will see you guys on Sunday for my next review.
Thank you for watching.